Hi Philothea. Today I am going to share some insights on the practice of virtues. The quest for virtue and the love of it begins to make us virtuous. God has chosen you to be receptacles of his divine perfume, and you are commissioned to spread the aroma of his divine fragrance by the witness of a life of virtue. A person undertaking to perfect himself in the virtue of which he stands most in need for his perfection, should strengthen and perfect it through the exercise of the other virtues. How gentle is patience in comparison with revenge, gentleness in comparison with anger and irritability, humility in comparison with pride and ambition, generosity in comparison with avarice, charity in comparison with envy, sobriety in comparison with dissipation. The learned persons do not lose the knowledge during sleep. It is just the same as regards all the hobbits of the virtues of prudence, temperance, faith, hope and charity. They are always within the soul of the just, even though they are not always making the acts of the same. Our virtues never reach the perfection and sufficiency till they produce in us desire to make progress. These like spiritual seeds help to produce new grades of virtues. The virtues, faith, hope and charity, of their own nature, are so very closely related to God. They are greatly susceptible to the impressions of sacred love. Among all the virtues, the glory of our salvation and victory over hell is given to sacred love. Love finds new strength and fresh vigor from producing abundant fruits in the practice of all the virtues. The little acts of simplicity, self absment and humiliation, in which the great saints took so much delight, in order to hide themselves and shelter their hearts from vainglory, were done with the great excellence of the art and of the ardor of sacred love. It is no virtue to be by nature a person who eats little, but to abstain from eating by choice is truly a virtue. It is no virtue to be silent by nature, but to keep silence by reason is a true virtue. Love is the standard in the army of virtues. Whoever had all the virtues would keep all commandments. The best way to do small actions is to do them with great purity of intention and a strong will to please God. Then they sanctify us very much. He who had at least few virtues possess happiness, which increases as he makes progress. The practice of the heroic acts of consists in the perfect imitation of our Savior. Virtue is of its nature so lovable, that God favors it wherever he finds it. In the practice of virtues we must prefer that virtue which corresponds more with our duties than with our tastes. Choose the best virtue and not the most esteemed, the most sublime and not the most spectacular, and the most excellent and not the most showy. Be aware that only virtues and devotion can make you happy in this world. Thank you. Live Jesus.